Good morning. <clears throat> Proverbs 26, verse 11 of the Hebrew Bible graphically illustrates that like a dog that returns to its vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. Assuming this is accurate, that's really in there, y'all. <laughs> Assuming this is accurate, I have a lot in common with our four-legged furry friends because over the past many years of my life, I have made a number of mistakes repeatedly. Some resulted in difficult life lessons wrought with embarrassment or shame, while others were wonderful follies leading to amazing adventures, new friends, and new life experiences. Then there are those mistakes that are continuing even to this day, repeatedly. Kind of like forgetting to put the orders of service up here for all of us to use. Sorry, Renoir. <laughs> much, much like the dog, I return time and time again to the putrid, bitter taste of frustration and failure. Do these mistakes have any purpose? Are there things that I can do to re-envision these and learn something new? Am I still whole? Am I still holy? According to Rabbi and co-director of the Kabbalah Center, quote, we need to realize that our path to transformation is through our mistakes. We're meant to make mistakes recognize them, and move on to become unlimited. For those of you who are familiar with the rabbi of the Kabbalah Center, he just got a lawsuit filed against him for sexual harassment. <laughs> I felt to tell you this was important because one, some of you may have already known that and I would have heard about it after the service. <laughs> And two, it's a perfect illustration of, of mistakes and how we might be able to move on in, in our life. So in that spirit, I ask you to bring all of your mistakes to this, the altar of our community. Come, let us worship together. <laughs> 